Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to remove grouping symbols in algebra with division. Now, when it comes to division, uh, one thing you want to think about is simplifying the terms, and if you already have terms that are being uh, put together by grouping symbols, you want to think about removing them using operations of distribution and go from there. You got to be very careful depending on what the operation is. So let's uh, look at a couple of illustrations and we'll go from there. Suppose you have 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 times 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, when it comes to the grouping symbols, the first set of parentheses that you might see before the operation doesn't really change the terms themselves. So the 3x squared minus 2x, this parentheses, can be removed with no problems. Now, since the operation is addition, all you need to do is distribute the 4 and go from there, and all the signs stay the same. So 4 times 3x is going to give you 12x, and then 4 times negative 1 is going to be negative 4, and then the denominator remains the same. Now it's up to you to simplify the terms, and it's pretty straightforward from here. Now if you have subtraction, it's going to be a little bit different. Suppose you have x squared minus 3x minus 2x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. Something to consider here, like we talked about before, this first set of parentheses, nothing will really change, so it stays x squared minus 3x. However, before we can remove these, and this is a common algebra mistake, unfortunately, that people will make, is they feel that if you remove this parentheses, the signs will stay the same. Uh, not quite the case because of the subtraction symbol. So before you remove these symbols, it's important that you take this negative sign, and what a negative sign does is it changes the signs of the terms that follow it. So what you have to think about is negative and a positive x squared is going to give you a negative 2x squared, and a negative and a positive 1 is going to give you a negative 1 over x squared plus 1. So when it comes to division, before we can simplify, you want to remove the grouping symbols appropriately, and then you can um, combine like terms from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of examples on how to remove grouping symbols in algebra with division.